listening to the Iran Brick Show on the Blaze Radio Network. All right, we're back. And I have to say, some of those commercials for other people's shows drive me nuts. Um, <laughs> he wants to see a wall that you can see from space. Why? Who are we trying to protect ourselves from? Who's invading? Who's trying to take over the United States? I mean, is Mexico an enemy that we need a wall? I mean, I can understand somewhat the walls in Israel because people want to kill the Israelis. They, they're invading. They actually want to destroy the state. Maybe even the walls in, in, in Rome, the barbarians were coming. Didn't help them much, those walls. But, but what's this wall with Mexico going to protect us from? Who is out there to destroy us? Who is going to kill us all? Mexicans? Right now, Mexican unemployment is lower than it is in the United States. Right now, Mexicans are not crossing the border into the United States illegally. The jobs are just not there. There's just no, no benefit for it. Fact is, if you look at the numbers, illegal immigration from Mexico peaked between uh, 95 and 2000 at about 3 million. And then after that, about half of that came in in the next five years. And the five years after that, even less. So that by, so, uh, uh, by 2007, by 2007, right, most of the immigration between Mexico and the United States was moving from the U.S. to Mexico. 1.4 million Mexicans returned home. 1.4 million Mexicans returned home. The actual population of Mexicans in the United States shrunk from 6.9 million to 5.6 million from 2007 to 2014. Because almost none of them came here. Almost everybody went the other way. So what are we, building the wall to prevent Mexicans from leaving because we need them to build our homes we need them to pick our strawberries. We need them to be our gardeners. I mean, it's insanity. It truly is insane. We're going to spend $22 billion, $22 billion that we suck out of the private economy, which would be allocated based on profit productively. And instead, we're going to give it to a bunch of bureaucrats to build a stupid wall, which is going to be unproductive, going to serve no purpose. For what? Because we're afraid. This is, again, emotion over reason. We're afraid. Our culture, our country, has become a country of wusses. Afraid of a few immigrants coming across the border. One of the reasons illegal immigration from Mexico was so high in those days, because uh, Mexican birth rates used to be something like seven children per woman. And what happened was when uh, health care improved in Mexico in the 60s and 70s, suddenly these kids were staying alive. Suddenly these kids actually weren't dying, which is why we used to have lots of kids in the past because most of them would die. And now they didn't have jobs, so they cross over into the United States. Today, average Mexican family has 2.4 kids. It's per woman, which is about replacement costs. And unemployment in Mexico is about 3.3%, which is lower than in the United States. The Mexican economy is growing faster than the U.S. economy. We're going to beg them to send people. We're going to beg them to send people. Now, let me know, some of you in the comments, really, basic economics, people, when the government takes money away from the private sector, either through taxation or through bonds, it is taking money away from individuals making decisions based on a proper allocation of capital. And then when the government consumes it, that is consumption and waste. Even if by consuming it, it pays private enterprise. It's that capital, instead of being invested productively, is now being invested unproductively. That's why Keynes is wrong. That's why government stimulus doesn't move the economy. Because paying people to dig ditches and then fill them up, even though those people are private people, they're not government employees. 
is wasteful. It's taking money out of the private economy and applying it to wasteful government consumption. And that's what a wall is. That's what a wall is. Emigration out of Mexico is way, way, way down. It used to be 144 for every 10,000 Mexicans were leaving the country. Now it's under 39 per 10,000. But we're afraid of them. Oh my God, they're going to change our culture. They're going to vote for Democrats. They're going to destroy America. Although Mex it's not going to be Mexicans. It might be Hondurans. It might be, I don't know, Canadians. It might be Norwegians. But it's not going to be Mexicans because Mexicans are not coming here illegally by large numbers anymore. There's just no incentive to do so. Indeed, as I said, many of them are going back home and now the war is going to prevent them from doing that. Not that the wall will ever be built properly to prevent anybody from moving anywhere. So 